Hi students, let's continue with the mismatch between the software and the hardware parallelism. In the previous video, I explained about the case 1. So, in the case 1, I had just taken an instruction, 8 instructions. So, L1, L2, L3, L4, 4 load instructions and 4 arithmetic instructions I have taken. So, this has to be executed in 3 consecutive machine cycle. In the 3 consecutive machine cycle, the average software parallelism is 2.67. Now, coming to the next case. So, in the case 2, what I am taking here is, Execution of the same program that is A is equal to L1 into L2 plus L3 into L4. The same program B is equal to L1 into L2 minus L3 into L4. So here how many load operations are there? There are 4 load operations as well as 4 arithmetic operations. 4 arithmetic operation, 2 multiplication and addition and the subtraction. So total 8 instructions are there. Total 8 instructions. So, in the previous, uh, the first case, 8 instructions executed in 3 consecutive machine cycle. But here in this program, what I am saying is only execution of the same program by 2 issue processor. Means my processor is going to be performed only two operations at a time. Means it can handle either two load operations or it can handle only one load and like uh, it can, let me, let me write it. Two issue processor which can be, can execute, not sorry, not two load operation. Two issue processor which can execute one memory, only one memory access. Only one memory access. So, what type of memory access it can do? Either it can load or it can write. Any one means you are trying to, uh, if you want to load the data, you have to get from the memory. If you want to store the data, you have to write into the memory. So, one issue will perform only one memory access. And another issue, another issue perform only one arithmetic operation. What is that arithmetic operation like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, whatever it may be, etc. Arithmetic operation. So, two issues. One will be memory access and another will be arithmetic operation. If only one arithmetic is there, let it be do only one arithmetic. So, if memory is not there, you are not supposed to do two arithmetic operations and you are not supposed to do two memory access at a time. So, two issue processor means it has to do one for only memory and one for only for arithmetic. This is my concept. Okay, this it can support uh, one memory access and one arithmetic access simultaneously. So, with this hardware restriction, so this is my hardware restriction because my processor can only handle two issue processor. It is only the two issue processor. So, how this software the program, the same program is executed in this hardware parallelism, how it is going to be executed and how many uh, average software parallelism uh, you are getting. That we have to be checked. Okay. So, with this hardware restriction, the program must execution in the seven machine cycles. So, it is executing in seven machine cycle. Now, let us have a look. First is L1. So, at a time, it can't perform two memory access. So, either it can perform one arithmetic and one load. But I can't do L1 into at a time. First, I want to load L1 and L2. After loading the two values, then only you can perform the multiplication operation. Right or wrong? So, L1, cycle 1. So, next L2 is loading. Because in the cycle 2, it has to... Per machine cycle, it can my processor issue only two two issues, one memory and one arithmetic. So memory is L2. I can't perform into at a time. So let's load L2 also. After loading L1 and L2, I can perform multiplication operation at cycle three. So cycle three, the processor can issue two commands. One is arithmetic operation another is memory access so here i am trying to load l3 also because in the same cycle i can perform one arithmetic and one memory access okay this is over so here uh, l1 in l1 into l2 you got now l3 coming to the 
cycle 4. In the cycle 4, I can load only, L3 is already loaded. Now I have to load L4. I can't load at a time multiplication because after loading L3 and L4, then only I have to perform the multiplication operation. So let's perform multiplication operation in cycle 5. Cycle 5. Okay, so this is L3 into L4 you are getting. So in the cycle 5, only one multiplication operation is there. So I can uh, load uh, one memory access also because two issue processor means one arithmetic and one memory access. So in the same cycle, load L5 also. Okay, I'm taking, uh, not L5 is not there, sorry. Only L1, L2, L3, L4 are there. So I had performed all load operations are over, multiplication so operations are over. Now in the cycle five, 6, I have to do, I have to do addition. Okay, addition. So in the cycle 6, I can perform only one arithmetic operation and one memory access. So there is no need of doing memory access. So multiply plus. So L1 into L2 plus L3 into L4 gives A instruction. Right or wrong? L1 into L2 plus L3 into L4 gives A instruction. Now in cycle 7. Cycle 7, subtraction operation. So subtraction operation L1 into L2. L1 into L2 minus L1 into L2 minus L3 into L4. L3 into L4. So, gives what? B. So, by using the two issue processor hardware type, the same instruction is executing taking seven machine cycles. Whereas in the previous video, okay, in the, uh, the previous case, the case one, these same instructions are executed in three machine cycles. In three machine cycles. So, whenever I have given a restriction to my hardware, whenever I given a restriction to my hardware, the same program, the same program takes seven cycles. So, that means here, total is, total the same instructions, eight instructions. Just like a previous, total is eight instructions. But cycles are seven. So, what is the average? Average is 8 by 7 means 1.14 instructions per cycle. Whereas here, the average is 2.67 instruction per cycle. But here it is executing only 1.14 instruction per cycle. So, this is the mismatch between the hardware and software parallelism. If there is a mismatch between the hardware and software parallelism, so this is the average cycles per instructions will be increased or tell or then it decreases so i had taken the same instructions but whenever the hardware structure i have changed automatically the cycles per instructions are decreased the average rate becomes less 1.14 instructions are going to be executed per cycle whereas if it is eight instructions executed in three consecutive machine cycles means the average uh, Software parallelism is 2.67 instruction per cycle. So, I hope you understand what the mismatch here it is happened. Okay, the only thing I am explaining here is uh, the instructions I am giving the same. But if I trying to change my hardware structure, automatically it uh, uh, affecting the execution part. So, how can I overcome this? So, in the next video, I will explain how to match between software and hard, hardware parallelism means how can I solve this mismatch problem so that I will explain in the next video. Thank you.